let's talk about another interesting concept and once we done that again miss basically i'm going to take only 10 minutes of yours but this is very very important thing right if i say pipe what exactly comes to your mind pipe means pipe right suppose you want to collect a water from the tap into your bucket what you are going to do you are going to use this pipe right it means that whatever is the output of this water sorry output of the tap which is actually the water will be there inside this bucket it is as simple as that so basically what pipe is doing pipe is taking water from one place and storing it into other place right and exactly the same thing is happened in this concept of pipe in linux also so suppose you have linux command number 1 here whatever the output of this command is the pipe will carry that output and this output is become the output is going to become the input for command number 2 very very interesting really really interesting but why on earth anybody wants to do that because it is going to give you much more flexibility when you're going to write your programs do not believe we are going to see that but knowingly unknowingly everybody here and we all know that everybody whoever is sitting here is a network engineer or something to do with the network everybody everyone who is sitting here has used this command you not believe me if you have ever used this command for example show if you are in cisco router if you are doing this command show run and then whenever you write maybe let's write the screen color include bgp what is the meaning the meaning is simple basically this command is telling you to print all the running configuration and maybe this running configuration has maybe 1100 lines but you are not interested in those 1100 lines and you are only interested in the lines where there is a pattern which is matching with pgp means you are saying although there are 1100 lines in show run command but basically the running configuration file i am not interested in those 1100 line i am only interested in those line where bgp as a string is there print only those nothing else i think you have used include in so many uh, so many use cases right but exactly what is happening here the command show run is producing a output which is your running configuration file you all know that right and now this running configuration file is becoming input for this thing so basically this command here after this symbol straight line symbol which is also known as pipe right this is saying do not print everything in the show run because user is not interested in the user is interested in only the bgp this this command is going into the 1100 lines and checking where the bgp has come and printing only those four or five lines right or maybe anything any character anything you can match here so the output of the one command becomes input of the another command it is as simple as that and it is making your life easy you will be amazed to see this but for that you need to understand grep command what is the meaning so basically we have introduced two new commands today we have introduced sort we have introduced now we are introducing grep command grep is very very easy command it is it is used to match patterns in a file suppose i have a file here 
inside this directory home user and test this is tilde from here to here and basically this is my test directory inside this test directory i have created a file which is demo.txt right here and here i have written some uh, lines one two three four this is a file i like linux i like python i like network whatever come to, came to my mind at that point of time i written everything i like linux i like python i like network automation i love cisco right this is the file i have created but now what i want is i am interested in printing only those line of this file where i have like written right where is where is this word like is there i want to print that line and i know that there are only three lines where the like is there and how to do that right now if i do ls i have demo.txt if i want to print demo.txt what is there it is going to write this thing right i have five lines there and now what i want to do is i want to print all the lines which have this word like how to do that in linux we can simply use grep command grep command is there to match the pattern and i want to match the pattern like right so grep command then the pattern whatever you like to match and then where exactly you are like to match which file i would like to match like and the file name is demo.txt and sure enough as soon as you write this the grep command is going to print these three lines where this like word is there it is going to print all the lines where the like pattern is there and that is why it is writing i like linux i like python i like network automation also and basically it is showcasing me with the red color that these are the pattern you were matching right this pattern is inside these three lines and sure enough you can understand the next command which i am writing here grep love love is the pattern which i want to match where in which file i want to match pattern in demo.txt which is this file and only one line contains love and that is why i have i love cisco it is as simple as that this is the grep command but why i am teaching you grep command because it is important to understand this command if i want to explain you few more example of the pipe right now you all understand that pipe takes the output of one command and make that output as input to other command right here is my pipe here is the pipe on the left hand of the pipe is i am having ls command on the right hand side of the pipe is i am having grep command so whatever the output of the ls command is maybe 20 file 30 file 40 files right i am going to give this as the input to grep command interesting what is the meaning suppose if i do ls in the auto directory i am going to see these files and believe me you are going to create these uh, these you can create these files easy, easily using touch do this exercise whatever i am doing here right so if i do ls command it is going to print everything inside this auto directory and right now i have many files in there but suppose my boss came and says that i that there are thousands of files but i am only interested in those files which are having doc pattern in them and i know that to know how many directories are there or files are there i need to use ls command and to match the pattern i want to use doc sorry grep or basically now you know the wildcard also you can do but basically there are other way, ways too right so i'm just showcasing you one of the ways ls command i am giving and then this pipe symbol what is the meaning of this pipe symbol is that whatever ls command is producing it is going to be input for the grep command remember try remember the grep command we were using grep then we were giving the pattern and then we were giving the file where we should find this pattern right now here after the pipe symbol i am just giving the pattern but where the file is where exactly should i find this doc 
so basically this pipe is saying to grep command that whatever the output of ls is going to be input for you right so basically just find doc into the output of ls command whatever the whatever is there right and you know the output of ls command is this one from here to here and this output is going to become the input of the grep command and then it is going to find doc pattern in that and you can see that the doc pattern is only in this file and this file and that is why this command is going to present me only these two files right very very interesting similarly ls pipe grep and this pattern it is ls i know ls going to be producing this output the complete all the files and now i am interested in only it is as good as saying show run include something and here i want to want to find using grep right ls Whatever the output is going to the input here, and in that input, I want to find wherever is fi written, just print me, and then you are going to see file one, file two, and file three dot txt are going to be presented because these are the three things where fi is written. Similarly, ls grep test you can calculate on your own. It is as simple as that. One more example I would like to take and then finish the session that you can have the grep command output as the grep command input also right here is a pipe on the left hand side of the pipe is the grep whatever the output of this command is going to be is the input of this grep right very very interesting just have a look at it if i do the cat on demo.txt the demo.txt is going to give me this thing right you all know that i have created this file you can also create this file using the touch and then nano touch for creating the file nano for writing the content of this file the content of this file is this is the file i like linux i like python i like network automation and i love cisco now just have a look at it what i am doing i am saying grep this is the pattern i want to match in what file i want to match demo.txt you all know it is going to print these three lines but i am not interested in printing these three lines right whatever the output of this command which i know that the output of this command is going to be line number one the, sorry line this line this line and this line it is going to be input of the second grep command where i am finding linux this is my pattern right so out of these three lines which line is going to give me the linux this line right and that is why i am printing only i like linux here it is as simple as that guys takeaway from today's sessions are going to be star and question mark wildcard practice other also you should understand std out std in std error how to print that standard output in a particular file how to take input from a particular file how to print the error because these are going to be very very important when we do the scripting you should understand what is the meaning of pipes in linux very simple very easy but these are the things which get missed and we start doing programming straight away it is not going to work that way because these are the concept which you should have in your belt when you start programming right you should have a solid understanding of operating system how it behaves as simple as that